Hi everyone. On the surface, it appeared that the stock market had a pretty solid rally today. However, if we delve in deeper, we can see that really it was just a short-term sell-off oversold bounce. For now, it could easily turn itself into a resumption of the uptrend by hitting new all-time highs and or could easily roll over. Uh, more than likely, we will probably back and fill here, so it's a time to be a little cautious. But still an impressive um, gain today. It was nice to get the gap up because we had quite a few sells yesterday, and a lot of them gave me better fills, which turned some small losses into small gains, turned other a little bit larger than I would have liked losses into manageable losses, and obviously profit-taking better you know, returns than if we would have gapped lower. So thank God for the gap open. However, overall, the today still you know, left a pretty bad taste in my mouth. The one good news is no sells. So no partial sells, no full sells, and everything ha handled itself very well. The bad news is I didn't see much in my scans. In fact, let's just go over the stocks that I highlighted in my personal diary. Uh, the first one's GoPro, and it's highlighted because it's building a pennant formation. It could break up or down from this box pattern. Um, it's up to the stock, but if you want to watch it intraday for a breakout above the recent 44, 45 highs, go for it. Buy it on a breakout. I have no problem with it. It's still, uh, you know, the market still is good for fast movers. Then DGP and AGQ, Silver Ultra and Gold Ultra kind of showed me, you know, that gold wants to move higher. And, of course, I got that off the GLD signal, which we'll go over here in a little bit. And besides that, there was EWM, Malaysia. Malaysia looks to be breaking out. I would I would purchase this security if I had any luck with these things. They, they're, I, I'm probably one for 20, it feels like, with these ETFs because we're in not a tr uh, trend-following favored market. So I'm going to pass on this signal, but EWM was the only other signal besides the two actual signals I'm taking tonight. HST is bouncing right off the moving average, and if I remember this ticker symbol, yeah, the REIT ETF, you can see that it has a very similar pattern, and a lot of my REIT stocks look good, like SPG. SPG looks just like HST, except for HST looks like it has a little bit more beta in it than SPG, but still the exact same chart pattern everywhere you look in the REIT. So it seems like that this is a brother sympathy play, and since it has a better chance of uh, producing more gains in SPG, I'm going to go for this to get a little bit of beta here along with my alpha selection. But HST, if you can see leading up to it, one pocket pivot point before the most recent downtrend. And if you look here, look at all these pocket pivot point sell signals. One, two, three, four, five. However, look at the trading. It's almost as if the pocket point sell signals are really pocket pivot point buy signals because the stock has gone nowhere. So it's confusing, it's mixed signals, and that makes me not love the stock that much. So instead of a 5% normal position in a safe stock like this, since it's speculative because the setup isn't that great, you can see MACD isn't looking that hot. It's only going to be 2.5%. At the same token, while GLD is giving a very nice, solid signal, the biggest problem I have with this one, let's go to that one and look at it this way. The biggest problem I have overall with this one is that the close at 127.84 is not above 128.04. I want to see a close above this before I believe gold can really take off. However, a pocket pivot point signal back-to-back -back day of rising volume as the stock, or excuse me, as the ETF or futures contract gains uh, is a pretty good solid signal. So the pocket pivot point signal along with increasing volume the past two sessions, that's a good go on uh, gold, especially since I got confirmation, you know, in silver, excuse me, there's silver. So silver looks good along with gold. Both look good and it makes sense to why gold would rally here to me. So we'll do a 2.5% position there. And if it can, like, let's say that it doesn't break out immediately and moves sideways even more, can touch that 20-day moving average, and then break out above the 28.04 position, then we'll go 5%, 10%, depending on how strong the signal is. To me, this is not a market to do 5% positions willy-nilly in 
because of the recent breakdowns we suffered. Facebook, you can see it recovered it, but lower volume. WDAY, not much recovery there. Yelp, not much recovery. YY, not much recovery. YNDX, FSLR, SPWR, SNSS, just not a whole lot of recovery. ONVO. Since we didn't recover so soon, it just doesn't make me think that the market really wants to jump higher here. So keep new positions small, everyone, and I would continue to be on my toes for a further pullback. Aloha.